All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I have my OBS set up. Some of you guys were asking about it, so I'm going to go through this real quick. I had, um, let's see. First of all, you want to download OBS, and then you also want to go to Google and also download Soundflower. Um, it's free, and it also it's just like a driver. You can use it for all kinds of in this situation I'm using it to route the audio to this special thing I have it hooked up in here in this so to begin with let's do we do MIDI audio and bring up that window um, I don't know why it's not showing just close it open it again okay and what I did is you go in here and you're gonna you're gonna create one of these right here which is a multi output device and then you can name it whatever you want to you know name it and you're gonna uncheck built in and I'm using Avid Fast Track Duo that's what I'm using and then you're gonna check Soundflower so after you've installed it that should show up and be there um, I tried using these other ones uh, like this when I was trying to figure out how to get this shit to work but it wasn't working so I ended up just using Soundflower again once I figured out how to set it up like this um, so once you've created that, um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need it now. Um, but the thing is, oh, actually, I want to show you. So it is, what it's going to do is it's actually going to now show up in here. So you can select it. I'm using, instead of going to sound preferences, I'm clicking, I'm using option click to do that. You know, normally it just does that if you click. But, and it's going to, see how it's going to show that. So anyways, I can delete that now. So what I do is, I didn't change any settings in here far as this goes but I just set up these I did drift correction I I'm not sure what that is for I think it would probably just make it so that the audio doesn't lag I would assume and once you've created that you're gonna have this in here now uh, my input I'm using my mic so I'm, it's, my mic's going to my avid and my avid's going to here so I use my input for my mic right here and then I as for the output device I'm using DAW tutorials and so what this does is it makes it so I can still hear my audio but also um, is routing it so that OBS is going to be able to hear your desktop audio and your voice at the same time so then what you do is you'll go to OBS and then you're going to go into preferences and go to audio and you're going to change this to default right here and then your voice is on the microphone you're going to use your driver whichever you know you're using um, as for video uh, these are the settings I'm using I kinda wanna play with these to make my quality better but for now this is what I've been doing and the other thing you have to do to actually capture the screen is you're gonna go in here and do display capture and click that and it'll give you this I've named I've named this one desktop share but it, you're gonna go in here and there's not much options you know you show cursor so that you can see the mouse which you know helps so then that's gonna show there and the desktop audio will play now through here too um, because of the way we set it up and routed it in here so now next as for when I'm using logic I have, if I'm doing a tutorial I go to audio and I have to switch it from instead of Avid, do the DAW tutorial, which is the one we created. So the way we have it routed now, the audio will go through that and we play it through the desktop and it'll all be recorded by OBS. Um, I believe that should be it. The way I used to do it was I just run it, but then the problem is that, that is you can't hear the audio while you're recording, so it doesn't, so it's a pain in the ass. So that's why it's good to be able to set it up like that. The other way I've had it set up is where I can still hear it, but then I couldn't record my voice. So I had to, the other way to do it is you go in here and put audio and and then you have to have this that on so you can hear it, but it's a pain in the ass too. So the way I did it before, uh, the way I was showing is I think one of the best ways to set it up and the easiest. So yeah, this is just a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, Hope this explained it well enough, um, and definitely message me or leave a comment or something to 
if uh, you have any questions uh, pertaining to this issue. Um, happy streaming. Take it easy, guys.